this is Robert with Go Engineer Technical Support Department, and I'm here to give another quick tips video. Today we're talking about how to make your regular springs, springs with bends and curves in them. This one looks kind of like a telephone cord, the old-fashioned curly cord. I know phones don't have those anymore, uh, but we're going to show you how to make them in case you need to make a, a spring that goes around uh, a bend. Uh, this one is fairly irregular and has a, kind of an oblong, there it is, an oblong profile. So I'm going to show you how to make something like this today. So we're going to go to a new part, start from scratch. Um, we're going to make this with one feature and two sketches. First we're going to make our path, however you like. Uh, let's go like a 90 degree turn here, and then another straight segment. So a simple path. Now normally when you do sweeps you want to make your profile kind of um, perpendicular to your path like this, but today we're actually going to deviate from that. We're going to, on the same front plane, do another sketch and we're going to make our profile here. <clears throat> we're not using a helix, we're just going to use a sweep. So we're going to draw our profile and we're going to draw it at the diameter of the, you know, what the inner diameter of the string we want it to be. So I'm going to set this dimension here. Great. And then we're going to set uh, a diameter dimension. So I'm going to add a construction line. So that way I can do double dimensioning. I'm sorry, I clicked on the wrong thing here. Let's try that again. There we go, double dimensioning say we want it like an inch in diameter on the inside so I've dropped it there and uh, thickness dimension there we are so now last constraint we're missing is probably this one here horizontal there we go excellent fully constrained so now we have a path and a profile I'm just to show you again these are all on the same plane Now we're going to go to Features, Swept Boss Base, we're going to choose our profile, and then we're going to choose our path. And right now it doesn't give us a, pro a preview because if it were to actually sweep this, we would end up with um, just like a flat face with no volume. So if I were, in fact I can even check this and it's going to say that it's not going to work. But instead what we're going to do is we're going to come to this Options section, go to orientation twist type and we're going to change it uh, twist along path and we're going to define it by number of turns and we're going to say that we want to turn say 15 times as we go around this and we're going to say yeah and there we go pops right up so what it's doing is it's sweeping it along the path but it's rotating it 15 times as it goes around. And so what we will result with is a bent spring. This has been Robert with Go Engineer Quick Tips videos. If you have any questions, leave them in comments and uh, have a great day.